Having gathered and read all the investigative reports of Detective Morgan, Rain couldn't accept why these things have to happen when things are going well with him and his son. Morgan tried his best to ease Rain's pain saying, it's best that you found it out earlier. In fact, if it weren't for your butler's initiative, I couldn't come close to my discovery even if I had the supporting evidences. That made me more curious we're in the world you got that DNA test. Why was Roman got involved here and how did he took this without me knowing it? The more Rainy became anxious and confused. That's a different story and you have to hear it from Roman himself. Anyway, you can have yourself and Justin take that paternity test again as confirmation. Your lawyer waits your decision before he finalizes the papers in, giving your surname to Justin. It is the court's ruling. Well, I'll take my leave for now. Just take things easy, okay? Rain returned to the documents laid on his table and with furrowed brows and mixed feelings, tried to brace himself from getting furious. That's when Ariane approached him quietly and looking at him where his face expressed bewilderment and rage about to explode, she held Rain's hand to suppress those pent-up emotions and she said, I am here for you, babe. Rainy stared at Ariane helplessly and asked, What will I do, Ariane? This is too much to bear. I feel divided on a thought if I'll let go or back out. Rainy covered his face feeling regretful, and with a broken voice, about to weep, said, If only I listened to my lawyer, because I was overjoyed to the knowledge that I can be a father and had seen Justin. My heart leapt. Ariane took Rain closely and hugged him affectionately, commiserating with him, easing his mind and letting him know that he is not alone in this situation. Ariane said in comforting words, it is but normal to act on the way you did because of excitement. Having seen a little boy like Justin, who would not be overjoyed, your reaction is a father-like feeling and who wouldn't be? Anyone would react just like you did. Let's go home. I need to talk to Bree, and I want to know from her why she did what she did. Rainy said with an expression of frustration traced on his face. Ariane could feel Rain's raging anger, so she hugged him to comfort him. Please talk to her calmly even if it's so hard to do so. Think of Justin's situation too. He shouldn't be put in the middle of your conflict. He is a victim too. Rainy gazed at Ariane and their eyes locked. Rainy in a low voice said, I cannot promise that but I'll try, babe. I'll try, he sighed deeply. And so the moment of truth came. Rain came face to face with Brie and handed the papers to her. Brie felt something's wrong as she stared at Rain's eyes. What are these, Rainy? I don't understand. She nervously asked, but tried to compose herself despite the stern look on Rain's face. What? You can't read now. Just look at the papers and give me a convincing reason why. Brie looked at the papers, and with hands, shaking, she refused to talk about it. I told you already what you need to know. What else is there to talk about? You are scaring me, Rainy. Rainy was already on the verge of becoming angry and annoyed. Stop your pretensions, Brie. Just talk to me so we can settle this peacefully. Talk. Brie saw what those papers were telling. She was in tears already, but she saw Rain's adamant look at her. In a soft, trembling voice, she confessed. I'm so sorry you have to come to know the bitter truth. But it was your doing why I came this far. I want you to taste the bitterness that I went through in carrying your child. No one at my side, my parents, cursed and disowned me and left me here with nothing. I struggled and there I knew how it is to live without someone whom I can count on. What will happen to Brie Preston and to Justin? Will Rain let go or will he back out? Part 86 follows. If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. This inspires me to continue the journey of my characters as they thrive on. Don't miss the next coming episode and thank you for your time and support. See you in the next series on my YouTube at Victoria Marinoval or on TikTok.